All right, so let's talk about criminals for a moment. You've really got two types. You've got your daytime criminals and you've got your nighttime criminals. Now your daytime criminals, those are the guys that have cased your place. They know exactly what they want. They know how they're gonna get in. They roll a truck up, they jump off, they make entrance into your house. As quickly as they can, they load up all your high dollar items and there's usually two or three of these guys and they get in their truck and they go. Now these guys typically are not armed. They don't want to get involved with you. They just want to get your stuff and get out. And really the only way you're going to run into them is if you just happen to need something back at the house and you turn around and come home and you find them there. Or if you're not a lunch guy and you stay at work and you decide today's the day you're going to come home for lunch, you may roll up and see a moving truck in your driveway. Those are your daytime criminals. So your nighttime guys, these guys are your ruthless criminals. They know that you're home, laying in the bed, sleeping, having worked hard all day, done your kids' homework, taking care of family matters, you got bills to pay, and then you've had a little family time, and now it's time for you to go to sleep and get ready for tomorrow. That's when he knows that you're the most vulnerable. And he has thought out, planned out, and now is going to ruthlessly carry out making entrance into your home and robbing you and potentially brutalizing you. He cares nothing for moral and ethical value. He has no concern whatsoever for life other than his own. These guys, these are the ones that make the news stories at night. These are the ones that you see on TV and you just gasp. Oh, I can't believe that actually happened. Honey, come here and listen to this, how horrible it was. Let's not be that. Let's try to take every opportunity we can to dissuade and deter that individual from deciding that this is the house that he wants to hit. But should he decide this is the house that he's going to make entrance to, and it's my house, God help him. Because the wrath that I am going to bring down on him, he has never experienced before in his life. I will not be a victim and I hope you won't either. Because what we're going to talk about are things that you can do not to become a victim. This ruthless animal that wants to come in, terrorize your house, and potentially kill you and your family needs to be stopped. And let's just cut to the chase. The only way you stop a brutal animal is to bring enough violence to stop him. You have to match that violence. And you do have it in you. Just think how crazy you get if somebody threatened your child. Just think how many times you have stopped your child from running into a road that you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that without any prompt or persuasion that you would take a bullet for your loved one, for your friends and family, for that baby child that you've got. Oh my God, I say if you've already made that commitment to take one, why don't you take one, give him one right back? Look, man, you know, there comes a time where you've got to make a decision in life. You've got to just say, I'm not going to be a victim. And, you know, it's unfortunate that when people make that decision, that they've made it after something crazy has happened. So if somehow we can make this an opportunity for you not to experience that, yet make the decision not to be a victim, well, then maybe it'll save a life. But all too often... People start making that decision after they've had something crazy happen to them. So if you've had plenty of people tell you, hey man, you need to start taking care of yourself, make this a priority, and you don't, well then that's on you. But if now you've never heard it and now you are, and now you can do something about it, then let's do something about it. I'm so tired of seeing people innocently victimized 
because they have the attitude of it'll never happen to me. Well, that's somebody else's. That's 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 on the five o'clock news. It's so random that when it happens to you, it's a hundred percent victim for you. There's no 5%. There's no 15%. Oh, it's only 15% of the population. Experts agree that only 12% of the population, this, than the other. When it happens to you, it's 100%. And what are you going to do? You're going to lay there and die? Or are you going to stand up and fight? Make that decision now.